when the British Royal Air Force was just beginning, two twin flyboys sought to soar above and defend the skies. But their first flight was quite a disaster, and they continued to crash, and crash, and crash, and of course, crash. Could it be possible that God would now use their special talents in the remotest place on Earth? Journey with us now to their island getaway to see what has become of the long-lost Banzai brothers and see the wonders that God can do. Hello! Hello, everyone! Hello, children! Oh, Ta-da! I am healed! <laughs> oh, it was the most amazing thing! There I was, feeling awful, and Peppa, an 800-pound gorilla, came with my own little sweet monkey toes and boo-boo kitty, and they prayed for me, and God gave me a right-away healing! It is a miracle! A miracle! A miracle! <laughs> oh, and to celebrate my healing, Peppa and 800 pound gorilla are going to take my plane into the sky and write, We love Mumsy in the sky. <laughs> are you ready, 800 pound gorilla? <laughs> Roger, Wilco, let's start our engines. Oh, oh, this is going to be so exciting. Aren't you excited? Oh, here they go. Oh, oh, oh 800 pound gorilla is flying so high and so straight. Oh, straight, straight for us. Did anyone get the number of that bus that hit me? Oh, Peppa, it's you. Where am I? Don't worry, you're safe in Mumsy's arms. Oh. What happened and why are you hugging a rubber chicken? <gasps> Peppa! Oh, Peppa, is it you? What? I said, Peppa, is it you? Are you okay? What? I said, are you okay? What? Speak up! Why are you whispering? Oh, I'm not whispering, I'm shouting. What? Oh, Peppa, you've, have you lost your hearing? I tossed my key ring. No, hearing, hearing. What? I can't hear you. I think I lost my hearing. Peppa, you did lose your hearing. <gasps> this reminds me of a story. Who's Laurie? No, story, story. Oh, Corey. Oh, never mind. Let's get the Bible out, I'll show you. I believe in miracles. Yeah. Ah, now, this story takes place in the book of Mark. Yeah, it is getting kind of dark. No, Mark. Mark! Well, muck muck to you, too. Oh, never mind. I'll just tell the kids. Don't sell the uh, kids. We need them. Pepper! <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hold your tongue. I don't have any hands. <laughs> Not another word. Yes, ma'am. Now, this story is about a man who cannot hear or speak. Sound familiar? Mm-hmm. Now, the crowd begged Jesus to touch and heal him. So he took the man aside and put his finger in the man's ear. Then he spit and touched the man's tongue. Ew, yuck! Yes, that was kind of an unusual thing to do. But then Jesus looked up to the heavens and said, If Father, which in Greek means be opened, and... At that very moment, the ears were opened, his tongue was loosened, and he began to speak plainly. Hey, what did you just say? If father. In English, please. Be opened. Well, it worked. I can hear perfectly. I'm healed. Oh, it's a miracle. A miracle. A miracle. <laughs> oh, 
and it's a miracle that can lead to many more miracles. It is? Oh, of course. See, kids, when your ears are open to the things of God, you can hear that Jesus loves you. With our mouths, we can say how much we belong to him. And that's when he begins to heal our hearts. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to tell Monkey Toes and Boo Boo Kitty. Oh, oh well, you know what they're going to say, don't you? I sure <laughs> do. Let's all say it together, kids. Pinky's up. It's incredible but true what the God of Wonders can do. Ta-ta, kitties. But that's going to